the lumbar plexus. As like all the nerve plexus, it also originates from the anterior primary rami of spinal nerves as all of the rest major nerve plexus. Right? So see from where it gets its contribution from the L1, L2, L3 and L4 lumbar spinal nerves. They give their anterior primary rami to form this beautiful nerve plexus. Okay? Now if you concentrate that which branches it has to give rise. Its first major branch is if I can show you this is the iliohypogastric nerve, the first nerve of the lumbar plexus that originates from the L1. The other nerve is ilioinguinal. Then there is another branch that is called as genitofemoral. Now below it you will observe the major branch, the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh, also known as lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Now after that observe the major branch, the femoral nerve. Then observe the obturator nerve and in 10% of the cases you get the accessory obturator nerve and next to it this large, let me make it more clear, the L45 they are joining to form the lumbosacral trunk, right? An important thing to remember here that the iliohypogastric that lies above the ilioinguinal as we recall the alphabets and we see that H comes before I. So simple to remember. Now these nerves of the lumbar plexus they are shown in various colors and before going to their detail let's see various vertebrae in relation to them. This is the L2, this is L1, this is L3, L4, L5 and below you find the sacrum and on both sides of course you get the ilia and related muscles. Let me mark them. This is the sauce major muscle. Above that you get the sauce minor and on the lateral aspect let me show you first the muscle. This is the iliacus muscle. So if we remove this sauce major muscle as it is being shown on the right side after removal of the musculature, we have to concentrate the location of the branches of this lumbar plexus. Let's rotate and see that these spinal nerves of the lumbar region give rise to anterior primary rami and they are getting exit through the intervertebral foramen, right? Okay, let me again take you to the anterior view and here you can see one by one. This is the anterior MS. This is the anterior MS of the lumbar spinal nerve 2. This is the lumbar spinal nerve 3 as you can see in the yellow color. This is L4. These yellow colors are showing the root values, right? So first concentrate. This is the iliohypogastric nerve. So we can trace it. This iliohypogastric is coming downwards. And as you can see in the picture that it is taking its origin from the L1 and a little bit contribution from the subcostal nerve, right? Okay, the sub 